Hi guys. If you see this light reflecting down here, it's because of my iPad, you know. Um, let me see if I can turn the brightness down a little. That's helpful, I think. Okay. So, hello. It's nice to see everyone again, although I guess I can't see you, but you all can see me. So, in my last video, I was talking about how um, I'm kind of stocking up on videos because I have surgery scheduled for this coming week for me. It is the middle of January right now. Um, and we will... Cats. Sorry, my toddler's in the background. Please bear with me. Um, I have hernia repair surgery scheduled for Monday. So I will be down for the count for a while. I'm already down with crocheting right now. I have crocheter's elbow also known as golfer's elbow or medial epicondylitis, I think is what it's called. Um, pretty, I think she said something about ulnar entrapment, which makes sense because when I crochet, I often will rest all of my body weight right on the elbow while I'm crocheting and that's not good. Don't do that. I don't recommend it. Um, I haven't been crocheting for almost a month, except for like one row at a time and I am devastated. So, this video, we are talking about the Fire and Ice Festival that was down in New Brighton, PA on December 9th. The vendor fee was $150. It took me $20 in gas to get there. And I spent $25 on food. That's it. Those were my fees. Um, there were probably 100 other, like, crafter vendors set up. And there were tons of other things. There was a skating rink, and there was a band, and there was a carousel, and a million food vendors, and like an ice house village, and Santa was there, and it was amazing. I will say that this show was fantastic for a one-day market. Um, I've done a few other one-day markets that come that were a little bit better, but this was pretty dang close. I will definitely do this again. Even though it's December 9th and it is outside, it was a warm day for us. It was over 60. Um, and it was a little drizzly even, but it was still crazy busy. So let's dig into it with what I sold. I sold three adult pom-pom hats for $30 each. Two sets of fingerless gloves for $20 each. One for a pom pom on a keychain. Five small tank the turtles for ten dollars a piece. Oh, the pom pom was two dollars. Um, one messy bun hat for twenty dollars. Three small possums for fifteen dollars. One slightly bigger tank the turtle. I made it in parfait chunky instead of Bernat velvet yarn, um, and I sold it for fifteen dollars. Three Triceratops for $15. One Kid's Hat for $15. Two Poppet Mushrooms um, for $18 each. Two Poppet Mushrooms for $20 each. The price difference there is also the difference between Burnett Velvet and Parfait Chunky. They're slightly bigger. Um, one Kid's Ear Warmer for $8. One Larger Axolotl for $20 one pickle for $20. Both of those are about six inches. Um, two medium axolotls for $25. Hmm. Now I'm wondering because I could have swore I only had one. I might have messed something up here. <laughs> um, one medium froggy for $20. One pineapple pouch necklace for $10. One bee, I do bumblebees, for $15. One Christmas tree guy for $15. Um, a luxury sweater for $100. I was amazed. The lady, she come in, she loved it. She walked away, she come back, and she bought it. Um, 
one eaglet for $15 and one braided ear flap hat. So it's, you know, the ear flap hats with the braids and tassels for $25. So when you add all that up, it's a total of $696 worth of sales. And my fees were $195. So I ended up making $501 in profit. Um, I do also have a note on here that I was off one way or another by $27. So I'm not sure if I sold another pom-pom or if I sold, which I think I did. I feel like I sold. Okay, back to it. Um, I was off by $27 somewhere. I'm not really sure how or what I sold. I think that I might have sold more than a couple of the fur pom-poms because I remember a dad coming in and buying a hat for his little girl and two pom-poms to switch out to go with it. Um, that $25 axolotl, I'm really sure I only had one of them, so I'm not sure why I have two marked as sold. I'll have to go back and look at pictures, I guess. Um, but either way, so my profit for that one day was $500, $501. Um, I am more than happy with that. It's at my day job as a CNA, I make around $140 in a day before taxes are taken out of it. So, and that's a 10 hour day. Um, so I cannot complain at all with that. That's what, four times what I make roughly. So that's the fire and ice festival. Um, that'll pop up some pictures and catch you in the next one. Bye.